So today we'll expand on the space of gratitude. First of all, get back to your mamakara you carry, the idea of I you carry. See, the idea of I you carry is surely not the truth. But that is the truth as on now. It is not the, the truth, but it is the truth as on now. See, the patterns you carry, the ideas you carry about I, what I am. So many ideas you will be carrying. Some are factual, some are comparative, some are existential, some are elusive, some are delusive, some are elusive. Different times you carry different kind of mamakara. The mamakara you carry, if you just understand these two things, like what I am carrying as my mamakara, it is neither the truth, at the same time, that is the truth as on now. When this understanding comes inside you, when this understanding happens inside you, you will understand one truth, the whole thing, the whole thing is psychodrama. The idea, you are man, you are woman, you are a son, daughter, even the idea, you are my disciple, everything is psychodrama. Please understand. Because you are sitting there, you are sitting there. Because I am sitting here, I am sitting here. Because the way you behave, the way you behave, because the way I behave, the way I behave. Please understand. Because you are sitting there, you are sitting there. Because I am sitting here, I am sitting here. Because the way you behave, the way you behave. Because the way I behave, the way I behave. There is no reason why you should be disciple, why I should be guru. There is no reason why you should be listening, why I should be talking. There is no reason why you should be there, and why I should be here. Please understand, when you understand the whole thing is a psychodrama, because, please listen, come to the space of listening, this is a very, very important sacred secret. When you understand the mamakara you carry, the identity you carry, is neither the truth, but at this moment it is truth then you will understand, every time when the mamakara arrives, as long as the actions exist, the mamakara arrives, and mamakara exists. Without mamakara, there is no action. This will give you the clarity, everything, whether you think you are a good person or a bad person, Sometime good person, sometime bad person, sometime sick person, sometime sick person, sometime healthy person, sometime having love and friendliness, sometime not having it, sometime joyful and sometime filled with hatred, sometime intelligent, sometime dull. So many things you will be thinking about you. Sometimes you will think you are intelligent, sometimes you will think you are dull. Whatever you think is just psychodrama. Sometimes you will appreciate your own ideas. Sometimes you will say, what a fool I am. So whether you appreciate your own ideas or you think what a fool you are, everything is just psychodrama. Please understand, but you are afraid to see the truth, everything is psychodrama because you are afraid the whole thing will collapse. It is literally like a, suddenly this building suddenly starts melting like a wax. How you will feel? 
you will feel so insecure that is exactly the way because suddenly everything everything inside you and around you will start melting down if you feel the whole thing is psychodrama every day i will not be able to come to devotee's house and maybe both the team if both of you guys sit together and work you may be able to come up to some conclusion some how to use my time more better that's all see i wanted all of you to understand this few things when you look at the thoughts without acceptance and without resistance you will realize the whole thing is a psychodrama if you realize you are eating pattern and sleeping patterns do not have any power over you that itself is a realization that both these patterns are also psychodrama for example put yourself in the situation where i am like come on it's only one hour work extra let me wake up one hour early and be here what all resistance you will have tell me if you raise the how many of you think you will surely have the resistance related to your personal life either food or sleep raise your hand that is where you do not realize that your lifestyle and thinking see anything which comes from your mamakara is a psychodrama what i am talking is one of the highest truth of advaita i know i am introducing a too big principle but this cognition can liberate you from the restrictive mentality see in this whole what happened inside me i neither decided for nor decided against but i am very clear i do not have any reason to stop it and i do not have any reason to make it now i am only going to ask the others convenience i tell you this is the best space to exist in every situation of the life if you see others convenience you are living enriching you are living gratitude so these two days the thanksgiving weekend internalize just this two idea just this two idea any anyway, tomorrow there is satsang we made the whole travel such a way that i won't miss satsang tomorrow there will be satsang i'll continue to expand deeper just this two idea the first idea anything comes inside you whether the ideas that you are good you are great or the ideas you are fool you are wrong or the ideas you are sick you are healthy anything like today i gave you one small example was what was happening inside me when i was traveling anything do not accept do not resist start looking at the whole thing without acceptance or resistance from your patterns from your side i tell you suddenly you will realize everything is psychodrama everything is psychodrama i can give you one more example sometime you will see in your life your friends family neighbors fa- failing in business 
you start building little fear, who knows I may also fail, who knows this may happen to me, but you console yourself, no, 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 not for me, I am. Or you see some families collapsing, divorce, or untoward incidents like accident or death. You start building a space, or even the positive angle, somebody gets lottery, or successfully achieves something. You start building either greed for that success, or the resistance, fear for the failure, but actually when that happens in your life unexpected, whether that negative thing or positive thing, suddenly you will see the both does not have that big impact as you are imagining. See before that failure happens you, have, you, you mother so much fear, like a hen mothering the egg, oh if that happens over, better let me have a little poison in the reserve or a rope to hang myself, or if this happens, success happens, you know I will just take the vehicle and go around the Bangalore and declare my victory. In the vehicle itself, I will have my music and dance. When that becomes actuality, both impacts does not happen on your system which you imagined, how many of you have seen this experience in your life? So, do you understand, you go on building psychodramas, neither your failures are that big failure, nor your success is that big success, it is the psychodrama you create about the failure or the success as an impact over you, not the actual happening. Now I am coming to break next psychodrama. The moment I said, I will start giving everyday morning satsang in the Bangalore, the claps and the faces lit up, everything. No, but understand, after two months, what will happen? Swamiji comes every day, what is there? <laughs> Weekend we can go and have his darshan. <laughs> And it will be nice if the center is nearby <laughs> my house and the center is 20 minutes drive. Now, how many of you are very honest that this is going to be your conversation inside after two months? The truth, you understand? But I am not resisting this kind of a slackness may happen in you. I am not resisting it. Understand? And same way, I am not supporting it. I am not saying, all right, you can, I am encourage, I am not encouraging it. This mental setup. You all know a great uh, seeker, Bal, Paul Prenton, a very honest, integrated Westerner, towards the spirituality and Hindu tradition. Paul Brenton, a great devotee of Ramana Maharshi and Kanchi Paramacharya, after his third visit to Ramanashram, he visited many times. His first visit only he records in a book, Secret Search in India or something related to this kind of a title. One of the very honest seeker, third visit, he goes and asks Bhagawan, Bhagawan, I don't want to go back to West, I just wanted to stay back and live here. This Arunachala is so heavenly. Bhagawan just laughs at him and says, he was actually spending few private moments with Paul Brenton, no devotees, he was alone, walking, 
and very few devotees get the opportunity to carry the water pot when Bhagawan goes to clean himself. I think you understand in Indian system there was no toilet in those days. I don't know whether the idea of toilet was even introduced in India at that time. So they only use the open space in some forest bushes. So some devotee will carry the water pot for Bhagawan to clean himself. So when Bhagawan was walking, so Paul Brenton was carrying the water pot and Paul Brenton said, it's heavenly, just I wanted to stay back. Bhagawan turned and smiled, stay here for two, three days, all these ideas will become all right. <laughs> no, you cannot imagine Bhagawan who says this hill is not separate from me, I am this hill and this hill is me, and who did not leave the breathing space of the hill from the moment he entered into the breathing space, not once he left the, com the boundary of the hill. He can make this comment. It's almost like a, the unexpected shocks from the masters. It is like a, there are some shockers in some great masters lives which you will never expect they uttered or which you don't want to believe they uttered. Once one guy goes to Ramakrishna and if you have read Ramakrishna's biography, you know his name Girish Chandra Ghosh. Drunkard, womanizer, everything, what not. He goes to Bhagavan and asks Ramakrishna, Bhagavan, how can I save myself from all these karmas? Should I give up all this? I don't think I will be able to give up drinking and womanizing. Ramakrishna just smiles at him and says, before drinking, remember, Kali and offer it and drink. Before you humanize and understand, that is also act of life and do it. No, you can never imagine Ramakrishna telling this and I am very clear, I am not saying yes or no about it. I don't want one more controversy. No, you will never expect a person like Ramakrishna takes this so lightly and says, ah, it's okay, just. One guy goes to Osho and asks, Bhagavan, I am little flirty type and what to do? Suddenly, Osho says, decide to be celibate from this moment. Control yourself, which you will never expect from Osho. The masters do give shocks. So I can say that this statement of Ramana Maharshi is a shocker even. I tell you honestly, with integrity I tell you, when I read that I was shocked. I said, how can you tell? Because I always felt I am Arunachala, so. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> How dare you tell that about Arunachala? But what he said, if you see from the ultimate truth, it is truth. It is truth. Whether it is the idea this Arunachala is heaven or the idea it is a hell, it is the ideas makes a psychodrama. The reality is neither hell nor heaven. Understanding the reality is neither far nor against. Understanding this whole thing is psychodrama gives you the clarity, gives you the experience, I tell you. 
that experience gives you the clarity to make any decision based on others. So today exactly what happened in me, idea, one idea comes. He said, Mokshapriyan sent a message, many devotees have gathered and many we are expecting. And immediately the idea, oh God, what a nice thing, all these guys are able to see me and surely they will be happy and they can at least get a, one blessing and touch. Then the next idea, what stops this happening every day? Nothing, because I don't have a problem of waking up one hour early and be here, it's only one hour drive, nothing else. And, and after all, we have a property in Bangalore. It's not that we don't have a property. We have a property, I think, around 10,000 square feet or something. Two properties we have. One, one is a flat, so you can't do there. But another one is a property, land. You can, even if we construct it and start doing it, thousands will have darshan every day. What stops it? So from my side, there is no resistance and there is no acceptance. I am neither jumping into it, saying that, wow, yes, 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 it will be great. So neither I am supporting nor I am resisting. Then I thought, all right, let us ask the people who are involved, their convenience. So the decision is now going to be taken based on the other's convenience. I tell you, taking the decisions always, asking other's convenience is living in gratitude. That is the definition of living in gratitude. That is the meaning of enriching. All actions without involving your acceptance or resistance is enriching. That is the definition of gratitude. In every small decision, neither your resistance nor your acceptance should be participating. Understand, this I am giving you as a very small example, but you may have to apply it on, in your life in every situation. Say very clearly to yourself, in every decision, I will not allow my resistance or my acceptance, my fear or my favoritism to be the decision making authority. I will always see to it the interested parties, you see any decision, not only you are the interested party, there will be some other people interested party. So I will always put that as a first priority, is enriching. I think I have given a most practical, most straightforward, most powerful definition on enriching. And after two months, anyhow now, because it's a new idea, all of you will jump on it. One will say, I'll put the pillar for the building, I'll put the roof for the building, I'll put the speaker for the building. It's a new idea, everyone will have naturally favor and jump on it. And after we do, after six months, if it is same people who come and sit in the Bidhi Ashram, I have, I have no problem because I have not favored it. I neither resisted it and I have not favored it. So I will only see the stakeholders interests, who all are stakeholders, their interests. Because it is based on the stakeholders interests, neither I fear nor I favor, I have no problem whether it takes off or fail. It can take off, it can take off. Suddenly, the thousands in Bangalore may start attending the satsang every day. It may take off. And I am holding the space for it to take off. 
So, I am taking the responsibility for it to take off. There is every possibility. Because the Bangalore is an English speaking city, there is every possibility. The thousands may start pouring in and thousands may get the benefit. Then naturally the decision will continue to be executed because the stakeholders wants it. The stakeholders want it. Then even if there is an inner awakening in Bangalore, even if there is an inner awakening in the ashram, there is no far or against from my side. See, actually I have done a post-mortem report of what happens in me and opened it and presented it to all of you for you to learn the lesson from this. How without fearing or favoring a decisions can be made in your life. So that whether it is successful or failure, you are not affected. This way you will never become tired, I tell you. I have made thousands of decisions. Many became successful, many became failure. It is not that all my decisions have become successful. Many succeeded, many failed. But never any decision could fail me. Because it was always based on the stakeholders' interests. It was always based on life is for others. It was always based on decision of enriching. If more are getting enriched, say yes to it. If the stakeholders are not interested, leave it. I tell you, this is the best form of existence. This is what Ramana Maharishi calls it Aham Spurana. Ramakrishna calls it the space of devotee, surrender. Osho calls it the empty boat in the river. I call it as Ananda Ganda. All these different titles, what Ramakrishna calls space of a devotee, surrender. What Ramana Maharishi calls Aham Aham Spurana, Aham Spurana. What Osho calls it, empty boat in the river or the leaf floating in the breeze, what I call it Ananda Ganda, operating from the space of completion, all these are one and the same. Always tell yourself, I will not vote neither or for the happenings, I will put the stakeholders interest as a first priority. In every decision, at least few people will be involved. It's not that only you will be involved. So, I'll put the stakeholder's interest as first priority. And I'll see to it, I throw myself at the decision completely without fearing or favoring. Without fearing or favoring. This is the definition of enriching. Please understand, as I was telling, sometimes masters give shock. As I said, Ramakrishna telling Girish Chandra Ghosh, ah, it's okay, do whatever you want, just remember me and you can't, it's okay, now tell me, give me the GPI, I'll remember you. It's a shock. Same way Osho telling, no, be celibate, control yourself completely. It's a shock. And Ramana Maharishi telling, eh, be here for two days, all these ideas haven't will, will settle down. About Arunachala. It is almost like a, me telling somebody, completion is useless, don't bother. 
staring at the mirror is nothing but the preparation for to do facial tomorrow, that's all. If you are staring at the mirror every night, you will only be thinking, tomorrow I have to clean my eyebrow, I have to do threading, and I have to <laughs> do facial, I have to clean my face. You will be planning only that. Completion is useless. Leave it. It will be a shocker. You understand? I am not making this statement. Be very clear. <laughs> but if I tell this, that, that is exactly... It is equivalent to Ramana Maharishi telling, ah, it's okay, be here, in two days everything will become all right. So understand, but the masters may give shakas, shocking words, statements. Here, what I am saying, may be a little shocking for you, but this is the truth. This is the truth. When I make a statement, why you should sit there, why, should, why I should sit here, there is no reason actually. Maybe one word you can say, I understood it's a psychodrama, you have not understood it's a psychodrama, that's all. Because you have not understood, you are getting punished, made to sit there. Because I understood, I am sitting here, that's all. <laughs> it's like a punishment, why you are not understanding? So, no, no decision should be made with your direct fear or favor involvement. I think this is the most powerful, precise definition I have given on enriching and gratitude. This comes, please understand, gratitude comes from the depth of your personality. It is not the smile you carry in your lip, many times for social reasons. No. Gratitude is the emotion which comes from the depth of your being. With a tremendous understanding, life is psychodrama. As I said, let all your decisions be not interrupted by fear or favor of your patterns. Neither acceptance nor resistance. Put the others, stakeholders, interest in the front. And one more thing, even when you put the stakeholders' interest, don't choose which stakeholders' interest you will give first priority. Now, I cannot say, I will give the Ashramites decision as a first priority. Then, I am choosing them. Then again, my fear or favoritism has entered. All decisions. See the both people's interests. Which is more integrated interest, favor that. Which is more authentic interest, favor that. That's all. Functioning out of gratitude. Now in this situation, the Ashamites are stakeholders and the Bangalore Sangha is a stakeholders. Just see who is going to be more integrated to their decision, more authentic to their decision, more responsible for their decision, more enriching with their decision. Say yes to it. That's all. Clear? So even in this, you have no right to favor or fear. Neither directly nor indirectly you will favor or fear. Sometimes I will do this drama in the ashram. If somebody need to be disciplined, I won't tell directly. I will call another one Brahmachari or Swami. Hey, you go and ask all these questions to this fellow. And this fellow whom, to whom I am telling, say, I will tell the A to go and ask the questions to B. This A will be thinking, why is Swamiji telling me to go and ask all these questions to him? Because the A also needs these lessons. I am training the A, 
by asking, making A to ask the same questions to B about which E need to be trained. And this fool will be thinking he has to train the B and he will go and do the job. But when he comes back, the B would have asked the same questions to A and both would have understood both needs this training. आज के सत्संग में थैंक्स गिविंग यानी पश्चिम में कृतज्ञता प्रकट करने के त्योहार के असफर अवसर पर मैं कृतज्ञता पर बात करूंगा पहले आपको स्वयं के ममकार यानी स्वयं के बारे में आप क्या सोचते हैं उसको देखना है जो आप स्वयं के बारे में सोचते हैं जो आप आपने आपको में मैं से संबोधित करते हैं और उसके बारे में जो अभिप्राय रखते हैं वो पूर्ण तरह से आपका व्यक्तित्व और अस्तित्व का सत्य नहीं है जिस ममकार के साथ आप जीते हैं यदि आप यह समझते हैं कि वो परिपूर्ण स्थायी पर पूर्ण सत्य नहीं है किंतु केवल अर्क्षण में जो भी आप स्वयं के बारे में सोचते हैं और अनुभव करते हैं उस क्षण में वही सत्य है तब आप समझेंगे कि ये पूरा जीवन एक माया है और जीवन में हो रहे हर विषय भी माया है आप किसी के माता या पिता है आप किसी के पुत्र या पुत्री है यह तक ही आप मेरे शिष्य है ये सब कुछ भी माया है है क्यों आप शिष्य है क्यों मैं गुरु हो इन सब के लिए कोई कारण या उद्देश्य नहीं है ध्यान से सुनिए जब जब आपका ममकार परिपक्व होता है जब जब आप कोई कार्य करते हैं आप स्वयं के बारे में कुछ अभिप्राय रखते हैं जैसे आप कभी कभी सोचते हैं कि आप बुद्धिमान हैं और कभी कभी सोचते हैं कि आप मूर्ख हैं कभी कभी सोचते हैं कि आप प्रेम पूर्ण है और कभी कभी सोचते हैं कि आप घृणा से बरे हुए हैं ये सब कुछ भी माया ही है यदि आप बिना विरोध के ये देख देख सकते हैं तो आप समझ सकेंगे कि ये सब माया है ध्यान से सुनिए जब आप अपने विचारों को बिना स्वीकृति या विरोध का देख सकते हैं तो आप देखेंगे कि सभी माया है आपके काने और सोने की आदतें हैं आदतें भी आपके ममाकार से जन्मे हुए हैं इसीलिए स्वयं के कारण को कोई भी बाधा संभव नहीं है इस समझ के साथ फिर केवल दूसरों की सुविधाओं पर आपके निर्णय निर्भर कीजिए यही लाभान्वित करने की जीवन शैली है जीवन में हर घटना हर निर्णय को स्वयं की तरफ बिना विरोध भावना के साथ देख कर लीजिए फिर आप पाएंगे कि यह पूरा जीवन एक माया है मैं दूसरा उदाहरण दे सकता हूँ अपने जीवन में आप यदि देखते हैं कि आपके कई मित्र निर्दान निर्दन हो गई है कुछ और लोगों को लॉटरी लग गई है तो जो नकारात्मक स्थिति का बाय आप स्वयं में रखते हैं या फिर जो सकारात्मक स्थिति का उत्साह आप आप स्वयं में रखते हैं दोनों ही महत्वपूर्ण नहीं है और यही माया है 
चाहे जो भी आप सोचते वो केवल आपके विचार और आपके अभिप्राय ही है ना कि उच्चतम सत्य है ये स्पष्ट स्पष्टता आपको दूसरों पर आपके जीवन के निर्णय को आधारित रखने की इच्छा और क्षमता देता है बिना स्वयं की स्वीकृति या विरोध के ऊपर महत्व देता हुए देते हुए जब आप दूसरों की सुविधा पर स्वयं के जीवन को आधारित रखते हैं यही जीवन शैली जीवन मुक्ति की जीवन शैली है यही लाभान्वित करने का सही अर्थ है जब आपका स्वयं का व्यक्तिगत स्वार्थ किसी निर्णय का बांग नहीं है बाग नहीं है तो चाहे वो वास्तविकता हो या ना हो आप उससे नहीं उत्साहित होंगे या ना ही निराश होंगे और ना ही थकान का अनुभव करेंगे फिर आपका कोई भी निर्णय आपको सफल नहीं बना असफल नहीं बना सकता है क्योंकि तब आपका हर निर्णय दूसरों को लाभान्वित करने पर ही निर्भर होगा इसी स्थिति को कई कई महान पुरुषों ने अनो अनेकों नाम दिए हैं जैसे भगवान रमण महर्षि इस स्थिति को अहम स्पूर्ण कहते हैं भगवान श्री रामकृष्ण इसे एक भक्त का मनोस्थिति कहते हैं भगवान ओशो से एक नाडी में नदी में बहाता हुआ काली नाव कहते हैं और मैं इस स्थिति को आनंद गंदा कहता हूँ आज के सत्संग का सार है आपके जीवन में हर निर्णय को दूसरों के ऊपर आधार करके लीजिए यही सही महीने में कृतज्ञता भावना के साथ जीना और लाभान्वित करने के गुण के साथ जीना है I bless you all. Let you all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, and enriching with eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share, and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam. Nityananda Nagar. Off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone. Zero eight zero two seven two seven double nine double nine. www dot nityananda dot org. www dot youtube dot com slash lifebliss foundation.